Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome to a brand new hardcore series. We are playing on this brand new Erlengrat map. Look at this, it is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I am in love with this map and I've barely looked at any of it yet. It is absolutely fantastic. I love the feel of it that I've get like the vibe that comes off of this map so far. I, I really do. I think I think it is absolutely amazing. Um, it may sort of turn out to be not quite as wonderful as I think, but my first impressions. It's a bit like the Estancia map. That one came out. I took one look at it and I instantly fell in love with it, and I still love that map. So this one here, it's not quite the same as the Estancia map. It's a little bit cooler here than it is in South America, in Paraguay. But um, yeah, I, I love the feel of this place. This, this is absolutely amazing. And like, it, it looks like the edge of the map sort of goes up there. You don't get to go right up into the mountains up in that direction. You've got some fields here and then you sort of, you can head up sort of part way up there to round about there, I think. Um, so the really steep bits, the mountains, apparently you don't get to use, which is a bit unlike the Tyrolean Alps um, map that I did at the end of FS17. I really like that one. I did enjoy doing a series on that one with the really steep ground and stuff. But there is plenty of steep ground in this map. Um, I'm not going to sort of walk around too much of it, but I do want to have a little bit of a look. Um You've got a massive amount of meadow in this map. If we have a look at it here, I'd, first of all, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Giants for letting me have the key a little bit early so that I could get some content recorded on this. A massive thank you to them for that. This is absolutely awesome. So far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I really am. You've got all of this is meadows over this side, and you've got more up over here. But something that I do particularly like about it is this... All of this is actually pre-ploughed, marked out fields, like these meadows. Now, we can make them bigger if we want to, uh, but at the moment, that like that they're all there as fields. And then you've got the, the more level ground down here. And if you take a look at the land, you can see I don't own anything at the moment. You've got various parcels around. So there's 250,000, 279,000, 400,000 for that piece. That over there is 380,000. 670,000 for that slice. Some of this land is incredibly expensive. And other bits of the land are not so much. So that's 125,000 there. 350 for that little piece in there. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the deciding factor is for how expensive the land is. Um, and then you've got all of the fields in here, 180. They, they, they sort of seem to average around 200,000 for these fields, although some are more expensive than others. It doesn't seem to be set just on per hectare either, uh, although the hectareage does seem to assist with how much we'll end up paying. Uh, that is the smallest parcel of land, field 21, right there. If you go into the game and you go on to... The easy settings, and you have the farm already built. That's where the farm starts off. That's your farm there. It's not actually there. We've got it on more difficult settings, so you can't. There's just nothing there. It's just uh, empty ground. Um, I want to take a little walk up the hill here. So this is my new hardcore series. It's going to be based around contracting. I've got zero euros to my name. I've got absolutely nothing at the moment, except for one pickup truck. That is all I own is a pickup truck. I don't have an excessive loan. I've decided not to do that. A lot of you didn't want me to do it. The backstory for this map. I am fresh out of college. I have learned all sorts of things. Um, I worked my way through college, so I haven't acquired a student loan or anything like that. I was able to get enough work that I could um, pay my own way through college without having to take out any kind of student loan. So I'm not crippled by debt or anything like that, but I also don't have two pennies to rub together. I used the last of my money to buy a beat-up old pickup truck, and that is what I own. That is the only thing that I own. 
I have fallen in love with the Alpine area. I did a placement year here whilst I was at university doing my um, college degree. Um, decided that using my college degree to go and do um, research or work for other people wasn't really what I wanted to do. I love it up here and I would like to try and make a go of things up here. The only way that I can see myself doing that is by running a contracting business. At the beginning, I don't have any vehicles to run my contracting business with. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do it. So we're going to need to start off with to work for other people doing jobs just as the jobs come available. Uh, we'll see what we can do and we can earn some money like that. When I have enough money, I will then expand and hopefully be able to buy a piece of land. When I have bought some land, I will then be able to buy machinery because I'll be able to keep the machinery on said land. I am going to state categorically, let's, I'll tell you what, let's go to my pickup. There is my pickup truck. It is an old beat up pickup truck. You don't find new pickup trucks in this lovely shade of green anymore. This, this is an old vehicle. Um, it, it, it's not very stylish. It does the job. That's, that's all it does. It does the necessary job. This is here at the shop. Uh, one thing with this series, I am not going to be worrying about uh, limiting hired help or anything like that. If I get a contract to do a job and I want to employ someone to do it, then I will do so. Uh, I'm also going to pretend that I didn't knock that road sign over. Um, I will just employ people and I will use them to work jobs for me. I am basically, I'm facilitating getting the jobs, I'm organising it. And I'm living right next to a town. At the moment I'm having to stay in a hotel. Not the fancy one up on the hill, I can't afford that. Uh, we've got a cheap B&B &B somewhere in the back. I can't remember where it is. Um, so that's where we're staying at the moment. And we are working towards buying... That field right there, field 21. When I have bought field 21, I'll have somewhere to store my machinery. That's the plan. Now, this is quite... We get harsh winters up here. I don't really want to be storing machinery outside. So I'll be looking to also purchase a shed and erect on that field so that I can store my machinery safely, which means that that field... I'll be able to do some harvest work and stuff on it, but um, it's going to start being eaten away as my farm expands. Uh, once I have the farm, once I have the land with the shed, I will then be able to expand it out a little bit. Let's go up along this road, shall we? I'll be able to expand. Um, I'll have my farm with the shed. I'll be able to start buying my own machinery that I can use for doing some of the contracting work. And that's how I'm going to work things up. Now, this is a hardcore series, so I will just show all the gameplay, much like I did with the last one. I will try to play as realistically as I can, uh, with a couple of exceptions. Rule number one is I am using um, autoload. I'm absolutely using autoload. Shamelessly going to use autoload. You're not going to get apologies from me for using autoload. I'm using autoload. It takes too long to manually load bales onto trailers and nonsense like that. I have no interest in doing that. It's dull, tedious, and I don't want to do it. And I certainly don't want to be subjecting you to doing to watching me do something that just frustrates me immensely and I get no enjoyment from. It's not going to happen. It's just going to make for bad videos. So I'm not doing that. I will use auto loads. I'm not going to be worrying about time scale like I was previously, although I may still say if we're using an auto load function, I will jump it to the 30 times speed. But I will play this a bit more like I normally play, and that is one time speed for any jobs that I'm doing. And then I will increase the time rate if I'm in between jobs and I'm looking for something new. Now, there is one other thing that I've got, and there's another mod that I've installed, and that is a speed adjustment mod. And I'm not going to use it to start with, but I'd like to get your opinions on this one. I've got available that I could go and use. Let me show you in plows, as I've already 
sort of done some stuff with it. So I go into here, and it's the working speed mod. This allows me to go plus or minus 7 kilometers an hour on the base game machinery. Now, at the moment, I'm not going to use it. I want to get feedback from you as to whether or not you think I should for some of the slower machinery that I might get. So I can have a plow, and I can up the speed up to 19k rather than 12k. Now, yes... I know that makes it a lot less realistic and a lot less hardcore because I'm suddenly speeding everything up. But the only reason I'll be doing that is in the name of slightly more interesting gameplay. Because it is going to be rather difficult to like keep things interesting if I'm still chugging along at slow speeds. We found that quite a bit in the last series. 265 episodes of Boulder Canyon has taught us a thing or two about what is and what isn't sort of acceptable with hardcore. Um, some people like it to be more hardcore than others. Uh, some are not quite so concerned about it. You know, the, the, everybody's got different tastes. And so I'd like to hear your opinions on whether I should be speeding up any of the machinery, maybe tweaking it a little bit. We can make adjustments as we go along so that some jobs do go by a little bit faster, but I don't think you're going to want to watch me be doing, like, weeks on end of the same job. I wanted to try to avoid doing that. Now, climbing up the mountain as high as I can here, because I want to kind of see what is available on this map. I haven't really had a good look round, and I'd like to get a good view from the top of some of this. I mean, this, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, because what I was looking at on here was what I was going to buy, where I'm going to buy machine. I'm all the way up here at the moment. If you look at land, these fields down here, for the amount of land you get, they're quite expensive. Now, that is 92,000. That's the cheapest one down there. There's 107 there. Uh, the rest of them are all more expensive. Like, that, that is the, the cheapest ones that you will find. There's Oh, there is that one over there at 102. So you've got two here, you've got one all the way over there. And then there's a patch of land over here for 120,000. So we're going to go and have a look at that one in a minute. We're going to drive over there and just take a little look at this patch. Because I'm kind of thinking that that could be our farm. What I'd like to do is I'd like to build up a farm on this series so that I've got a collection of my own machinery and I'm also able to run a farm on here as well and uh, have cows and, and, and things like that. Ideally, I would like to finish this series up with a decent number of cows on a farm of our own where we can feed and, and look after all of them without any problems. So we've got uh, a restaurant up here at the top. The piece of land that we're looking at is out over there. But I'm wondering if we should say that I can get cows, I can get machinery, but I'm only allowed to get any animals, any machinery, uh, well not machinery, any, any animals, any placeable um, sheds or anything to do with animals on land that isn't already designated as arable land. So I can go and buy field 2 right at the beginning or near the beginning when I've got enough money to buy it um, if I wanted to. But maybe we could say that if the land is designated as arable, which that is down there, uh, we're not allowed to build on it. That could be a, a bit of a restriction, which means that we'd have to do our building up in the mountains. I'd have to be leveling off an area in the mountains and building my farm up there. So I want to go over now and I want to get to the other piece of land, which means I've got to drive all the way back down. I will actually start doing some work soon. Like, I'm, I'm still touring around at the moment. You know what? I'm, that's another thing. I do have a multiple contracts mod, so we can get several contracts going. I'm thinking that maybe we could start off by doing that. Let's go and have a look and see, because I, I do want to get over here. I want to have a look at that. That's, I'm going to follow the road for that one. I'm not going to cut across country. We're going to wiggle our way all the way up to here. If I'm doing stuff up here, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, I did consider doing something similar to what I did in the Black Mountain time lapse, which is say that I can't buy any farmland down here. 
and I can only buy stuff up in the mountains, but I, I don't think that's a very good idea, to be honest. I don't think we should limit it to that. I've got one harvesting job on field three, which is that big field over there. I've got a fertilizing job on field 20, 7, and 10. 20, 7, and 10 have all got fertilizing jobs. And I've got in here a harvesting job on field 21, which is our little field down over here. Harvesting on field 21 would take these tiny little machines down here. Now, what I can do, though, that needs to go to the Felsbrunn Grain Mill. That... It's disappointing that the name is like that. I'm hoping that that is a slight error. I have got this early. I mean, maybe it is the Felsbrunn Grain Mill. That's the barn right there. Railroad, Grain Mill. Ah, it's just saying Grain Mill. That could actually be a slight error. I have got this one early, so there probably will be a patch. It might just be that that is not intended to be called the Felsbrunn Grain Mill. Felsbrunn Grain Mill, Kasserai, Erlengrat, Grain Mill. Right, well, where's that one? Tag, but I don't want to tag it. Railroad, Barn, Grain Mill, Biogas. Oh, Fels. Oh! The Felsbrunn Grain Mill is on the railway. So maybe it is the same place. Maybe, maybe it's like connected to the same set of mountains. You know, it could be actually, because Felsbrunn is kind of like on the edge of the mountains, wasn't it? It could actually, it may not even be a mistake. That, that could actually be fully intended. Connected together. Wait a minute, there is one thing that I can do. I've got at the moment, um, I've got switched to trains off. I have seen a train traveling across the map. I'm curious. I'm going to go here a minute. Okay, I've seen a train traveling across the map, but I can't actually switch to the train. I can tab into that one, but I can't switch to a train. You've got to switch to trains on. So how am I supposed to get anything? I need to go in here. How am I supposed to get anything to that? Oh! That's how I get it. So I got to go along the road over there. So we got to get to there. And they want to give us the slowest tractor in the game. In order to do it, which could be quite interesting. Unless the trailer is able to be put on the back of this one. That could speed it up a little bit. Like we might be able to do it if we could put the trailer on this one. If we were to take that job. I think we might. So I got a multiple contracts mod. Which means that I do have the ability to go and do that. I am going to do this one without using my steering wheel. I'm going to use a joystick for any load of work that I might do. But I am doing it with just keyboard steering. The same as I did the last hardcore series. I, I just think it's going to be a bit better doing it like that. Um, it's basically, it's putting me... Yeah, that's why I keep driving off the side of the road, by the way. But yeah, I'm going to do the entire series without... Uh, a steering wheel on a plate. It's it's slightly more of a challenge, but it also puts me more of a level playing field with anybody else that can't afford a steering wheel. And I do feel that's kind of important sometimes that I don't sort of get used to the fact that I've got a steering wheel, therefore I can do stuff, you know, and, and just go and do it. Because I know a lot of people like to play along, and not everybody is fortunate enough to be able to have a steering wheel. And that's why I did it in the last series, was I don't want to be always doing stuff that not everybody is able to repeat, not everybody is able to replicate. So by doing it like this, oh wait, no, I don't want to go that way. Back up. Back up. There. Oh, I know what I've got on wrong. Oh, here. Do, 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 do. Uh, stop and go braking. That needs to be on. Right. Do that. Back. There, that's better. Stop and go. That's what I want. It's stopping, and then... But I'm, 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 I'm easing back on the brake, and then it's, it's stopping completely, and I don't really want that. I shouldn't be going in here. This is one way, it says... Uh, here is our shop right here. We're, 
Uh, I want to go there. So there's our shop. We haven't got very far to go from the shop over to field 21 to go and start doing that one to get to the other field that was for harvesting. I think it was field 3, wasn't it? Uh, it's a little bit further to go. Where was the contract for field 3, by the way? That one, again, Felsbrin Grain Mill. So they, they both want us to go to Felsbrin Grain Mill. If I'm running both of those at the same time, maybe... I wonder if I can do two contracts, but use the machinery from this contract. For, I don't think you can do that. So I'm wondering if I could also use the tractor and trailer. I'm hoping this one will be a bit faster. It doesn't show me what the other machinery is. Bit disappointingly. Let's take, we'll, we'll take this. We need to get started on contracts anyway. There, that's active. And I'll come out of here. Oh, no, 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 cancel. Yes. Unfortunately, I made a mistake on that one. Now, I did have, there's another contract thing, but I haven't got it on here. Go there. I don't, I don't think I've got it active. There's one way you can refresh the contracts, but it doesn't seem to be active here at the moment, unfortunately. I pressed accept. And that was wrong. I needed to do borrow items. And I didn't do that on there. That was really, really daft. Um, I don't think just pressing it. You've got to exit the game. And you've got to come back in to refresh your contracts. So we will go with the field 21 harvesting. And we will borrow the items. There we go. Now we've got the items here. That's a lot better. That's kind of what we wanted. Uh, the harvesting effort. That's, that's not going to be successful for us. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get this over there. And getting the grain moved is going to be painful. Because we've now only got a really slow tractor. But I may have a way around that. I may at least get this combine up the road. Because I should be able to accept another contract at the same time. And that's kind of what I'm hoping I can do. I'm going to get this combine up the road. I'm going to get this one started. So you need to come because it's only it's literally just over there. So once we've got this one up the road up here, uh, that one for the beacon. There. Those of you following along at home, you need to press the home button on your keyboard. No, I didn't just wallop into that car. It was a figment of your imagination. Um, I had no choice. I had absolutely no choice in the matter whatsoever. And ignore the road signs. That one came out of nowhere. It wasn't my fault. He sideswiped me coming out of nowhere. It was definitely, absolutely not my fault. Right. In here. There we go. Bring you in there like that. And go over there. And then uh, turn off the beacon. I'm pressing X. That's not open. I thought it opened a bit on the tank. It doesn't. There's the train. Oh, you can. It's just not always on the map. Right. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. We, we've got the electric train on here, and I am driving it. So why didn't it allow me to flick to the vehicle beforehand? Now... Can I, I, I pressed sideways to try to go on that side of the track, but it doesn't allow me to do that. I'm driving along at max speed at the moment. And I'm not quite sure what happens with this. So th this, this is, this is going to be new stuff to me. What happens when we get to the end of the rail, uh, end of the track? Just going to disappear. I mean, we, we've got this one here. I don't like the way that... Oh, the train will now drive to Felsbrunn and will return on the other side. Ah. I see. Okay, that is actually a nice touch. I like that. That That is actually quite cool. What I don't like is the warning you get for this. The lights start going and the barrier starts dropping at exactly the same time. And it is just a couple of seconds before the train gets here. When it's going the other way... Like, when it comes over the other side and um, carries on. The train pauses for quite a long time. Uh, the tra it, it, like, it's, it's going for quite a long time while the lights are still flashing and the barrier is down and so on. I'd like the lights to start flashing. 
much sooner to give you more of a warning with your vehicle. So if you're approaching with a truck, it doesn't get stuck under the barrier. Because I've had that more than once. That has happened several times. So yeah, that's the whole thing with the trains. I, I quite like that bit. That that's quite cool. Um, now I want to go back over to this one. I'm going to do vehicle AI vehicle extension to start with. I'm going to go around the outside of this field. I'm not going to gather up any straw on this one. Although I don't think this one enables straw choppers. Or does it? Pipe out. Turn on harvester. I don't think this enables any straw chopping. I think it's an option. So put you in here. And I'll just start you like that. You, you'll go on in and you're away. So this is going to end up leaving a line of straw. And I can't actually do anything with that line of straw on the ground. It's just going to have to be wasted. There is a mod that does allow you to go and gather that up if you want to. Um, or I can go and get my own baler and I can do it, I think. But I have no desire to go and do that. So I've got hired help going in here. Our money is already ticking downwards. Um, I know that. I'm aware of that. It would save me a little tiny bit of cash if I was to do the job manually myself. But that would take a ridiculous amount of time. And also, it wouldn't be sort of... It's, it's not really worth the time. So I look at it. It's, it's not really worth the time to go and do it. Now, I've got that Fiat right there. And I've got these two trailers. I'm kind of wondering if I can do something a little bit different with that. And that is, can I take another one? Right, I can take another contract. I've got a much faster tractor there. Field 20... That one is field 7, and that one is field 10. Now, this is a spraying job, so I'm going to borrow items here. I've got field 20. I need to go and do some spraying on it, which is right next door, which is quite fortunate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two trailers first. I'm going to take them over to the combine with this fast tractor. Because this one's got a 53k top speed, whereas the other tractor has got a 25k top speed. And I'm going to use this tractor for ferrying the stuff around. So I'll bring you over there like that and unhitch that one. And then I will go and get the other trailer. And that Fiat could just sit right here. I've just got to not accept contract complete before the combining job is finished. I've got to go and do that one first. So I bring this over here. Now I've got to master my reversing skills. Like that. And then I bring you over here. We will turn the other way like that. Okay, that reversing skill is leaving a lot to be desired. So now go that way. Turn sharp like that. And that will bring it. Yep, there we go. Right. I've managed to get that one hooked onto there. Now we go on through this way and we will head off towards that combine and hopefully get it unloaded. Uh, I don't have my... Ins I think it's the vehicle inspector mod. Pretty sure it's vehicle inspector. That one doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I may not have that one active because I can't currently see what that combine is doing. I've got 80% full over there, so I may need to exit and just double check that I have even got that mod active. Um, there is a distinct possibility that I don't. Let's do that and that. And that is going to be a bit of a nuisance not being able to see what my vehicles are doing. I don't. Maybe it doesn't work with... Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. So we're going to just sit here by the resort and, or hotel resort type thing. Very fancy building anyway, far more than I can afford to actually stay in. And we're going to admire the view because it is absolutely gorgeous up here. It is stunning. As a big thank you to some of the people who have supported us 
with the channel. Your names are coming up on the screen right now. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.